that this was a worship weekend, he finds prophets singing, and when he is there, the Spirit of God comes upon him, and he starts prophesying. They usually ask, has Samuel, the son of Kish, become one of the prophets? Whatever it is that you are looking for, I am here to tell you that it is found when you encounter God. The Bible is filled with instances that men find and encounter God and their lives are changed. We go and we find Joseph and when Potiphar sees him, there is something about this young man that Potiphar has never seen in the entire Egypt. We find Meshach and Abednego who decide that there is something in this God we will not define ourselves with meat or the things that are offered to other gods. But our hope and our trust is in this God. Bishop was preaching, I think, two Sundays ago, on last Sunday, and said about Daniel, who was able to become a prophet for three kings. Three kings came and left, and Daniel was always there. And all three kings were looking at this man and saying, there is something that is different in Daniel. They could not find we find a young lady that had beauty that even the king would look at her and say, Esther, you have found faith. There was something that these people knew that when you encounter God, your life is transformed. That when you meet with God, your future is changed forever. Today we are creating environments and atmospheres that men can meet with this great king. We also are here, not even just to create for you, but also to create for ourselves. How is it that when someone is told, he will find people praising and worshiping? Prophets with timbrels, prophets with harps, and as they are singing, the Spirit of God shall come upon you, and you shall prophesy. It is such environment, or it is such places as this, that as you are sitting and praising God, as you are sitting in your home, it might be curfew hour, it might be a time that you are wondering, but as you sit and as you seek God, your life can be changed. In the midst of this pandemic that has changed what we know as normal, God can encounter you or you an encounter with God and come out a different man. Saul left his home going to look for donkeys of his father that had been lost. But he came back an anointed servant of God, an anointed king of Israel. Tonight, as you are seeking God, our prayer is that this God that meets with men and changes them, that this God who looks and he says that I inhibit the praises of my people, this God that says that when my lift, uh, when my name is lifted up, I will draw men unto myself. This God that says all power and authority is in me. We have been having daily services, I think now for, for almost two months or two months and a half. And every day, uh, every servant of God that has been standing here, whether ministering in song, whether ministering in word, has been speaking of God who wants to change your life. Has been opening up scripture to say that God in this season is still looking for men. That if somewhere uh, it was the, the, the donkeys of his father that made him to encounter God. It was in the midst of trouble that God was, he met with God and his life was changed. Even in the midst of this calamity. Even in the midst of this pandemic, I believe God is still looking for men to transform it. As we are coming out of it, that there are men that will stand and say, I met God, and God transformed my life. This is the reason we come every evening to your homes. This is the reason we have given ourselves and asked God, God use this platform. I as Jacob, I as a man, we as ministers in this house tonight, cannot change your life. We can only come to herald and say there is a God. Look unto Jesus, the one who changes men. Look unto God, the one who transforms lives. Look what he has done in the past. We are here to tell you he can do it in your life and he will do it in my life. In the name of Jesus. I don't know what it is that you are looking God for. 
But it says every good and perfect gift coming from above. Everything that you are seeking, everything that you are longing for, your dreams and your visions, your aspirations, whether for your family, for your children, for your, for, for your husband, for your wife, for your business. There is an encounter that can change it. There is an encounter you can meet with God and everything changes. This is why every day we are waking up and seeking God and asking God, God, can you meet with us? God, can you come and create a, a personal encounter? A personal encounter that will change everything in my life. The starting point of this, if you are listening to us and you do not know this God, is to give your life to Him. The second thing after you have given is to, to spend time and to fellowship with God. Every church when they are leaving, every service they say, and now with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship. You know, fellowship means you stay with someone. Fellowship means you go. You know, um, uh, schools nowadays have what they call fellowships where you go and for a certain uh, period of time you are in an incubation center where you study about whatever that is, whether it is in business, whether it is in whatever field it is. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. We crave for this. We crave to spend time in God that he may change us and he may transform us. We, we thank you for joining us. It is our joy every time because every time we come to you, it is, it is an opportunity for us also to give ourselves to fellowship with this God and say, God, we, we give ourselves. May this be a, 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 a vessels. May this be a platform for you to change men, even as you're transforming us. As we finish, we'll be here tomorrow for our, uh, our service with our bishops starting at 10, 10 a.m. Uh, then in the evening at, 9, at 7 p.m. we're going to be having the last section of our worship weekend. So kindly join us. But as we finish tonight, there, there is evidence uh, beyond uh, any shadow of doubt that God transforms lives. There is evidence beyond any shadow of doubt that this God is true, that this God is all-powerful, that this God loves you. And this God wants to encounter and, and meet with you. Sometimes he, he creates situations in which he ensures that you have nothing else to do but to look unto him. For Saul, the son of Kish, their donkeys disappeared. And because of that, they had to go and start looking for them. They had to be isolated so that God can encounter them. And this is what God is looking for tonight. So today, when you are at your home, when you are in your house, when you are with your family, God wants to encounter and meet you. Let us be mighty and everlasting Father, King of kings and Lord of lords, God, you who change your heart, you who is living, you who is all-powerful, almighty, from everlasting to everlasting, we bless you. Tonight, God, as we have created this worship we can, God, it is a platform for you, God. Lord, as men, we cannot change men, but we know of a God that changes circumstances, that changes lives, that transforms men, that causes all things to work together for good. And so tonight, oh Father, everyone that is listening to us, wherever they are, whatever situation they are in, God, we thank you that you have the answer. We thank you that you are concerned. We thank you that you are working in their lives, oh God. And may you transform them and change them to the glory and honor of your holy name. You are back at home and you want to give your life to this great God that we speak about. Kindly say this prayer to me. Say, Father, we come to you. I confess that I am a sinner. I ask you to cleanse me in the precious blood of Jesus. 
I believe that you died and you resurrected. And that you are seated in the right hand of the Father. Today I surrender to you. Teach me your ways. Show me your ways. And lead me even into knowing you more and more each day. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you Lord for everyone that has given their lives to you. God, we surround them in the precious blood of Jesus. We ask you that may you guide them, may you lead them, may you cause them to know you, and even Father God to love you the more. In the name of Jesus. You say that prayer kindly, write to us, and we will get back to you and give you more information. Uh, confess to everyone that is around you, starting now and tomorrow, that you have given your life, that you are a born again Christian. And the Holy Spirit of God will help you. As I said, tomorrow we will be here uh, starting 10 a.m. Uh, with the bishop for our Sunday service. Kindly join us. Uh, he is continuing uh, with this great message for Africa and this season that we are in. And I know God will richly, richly bless you. We thank you for joining us again. God bless you. We have Sunday school. We have something special for you. Uh, kindly have all your kids together. Uh, I know you will richly, richly uh, be blessed and enjoy as we are doing the different studies together. And let us say the grace and love and the grace. And the love of God. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow. In Jesus' name. Amen. He go go back to me, pray. Sugar me tea. He go go clock my body. He go go shut my head. Say, he go go butter me bread. He go go sugar me tea. Oh, he go go clock my body. He go go shut One my more time, say, he go go butter me bread. Sugar, he go go sugar clock my body. He go go clock my body. Say, he go go shut my head. He go go, he go go butter me bread. Sugar, he go go sugar me tea.